Good morning, it's another day of working in the shop. We're working on the Bombi, and guess what? It's not gonna work. This is bad. Let me show you why it's not gonna work. We went to some effort to move this away from the drive sprocket so that the caliper would fit nice. And what that did was this. I was unfamiliar with these kind of tire guides and it just never crossed my mind. Not yep. enough effort. We didn't move it far enough. We thought it was clear because it was away from the gear. Yeah. But it's not going to work. Not going to work. So we've got to get it further. Luckily, Tom found a solution on the World Wide Web. Brake hats. So this is what we've found. It's not going to work. These holes need a little reaming and then it's going to work. Probably this one? Yeah, skip two. One, two, skip to Malou. I knew that was coming when I said skip two. It was just a question of how long it was going to take. Skip to Malou, my darling. So now that it's going to work, let's look at it. Um, were you just skipping? Yes. He was skipping to Malou. Yeah. That's going to work. That, that couldn't be better. The pilot's even the right size. So these are modular. So not only can we put this on like this, we can add spacers if we need to. Don't worry, we're not gonna be taking it on the freeway. And that'll get us Way inboard far enough. You got a new one? Yeah. Wild shot! That wasn't even close. I was about to say so close. <laughs> so Rhett came in to work late today, kind of. He came in early because we were working somewhere else. I'm not doing a good job explaining this, but Rhett came in early somewhere else, and then when we came here, he started working on his own thing. Come show us what you were working on real fast. <laughs> so Rhett has this cream puff he's been trying to get running. And show us what you did. Well, all I did today was made it so this wire wouldn't pop out right there and just die randomly. And then I replaced the ground wire because the old one was getting there and then I put this ground wire to the alternator. You should put a, put a zip tie right there. Yeah. And don't leave this laying around in your engine bay. Machine it with Matt. Ooh, I hear his car fire up. Only the low tones make it through. He can hear earthquakes and rumbles. And yeah, this, is, this is Ed hearing right here. <laughs> long, a long time ago, way back, I had little four little speakers in the ceiling right here and a subwoofer that I built, the six inch sub, and it was amazing because the music, we can't have music playing on YouTube, but we used to have music in the shop before YouTube. And it was just awesome because we could hold a conversation, I could talk to you, because it was just quiet. But that subwoofer that made it sound amazing in here, Ed could hear in there, and he could, he, one day he came and just tore it apart. <laughs> he trashed your subwoofer. Yeah. Wow, we couldn't take it. it off. You kids and your music. All right, here we go. Okay. Oh, yeah. Man, that looks good. So, I'd say, I'd say we're bottomed out right there. We ought to just test fit it. It might work the way it is. Right. We could put this on this way. You can put that together right now. Did it come with bolts? I'm gonna look. I have got an errand to run so I'm gonna turn this over to you and Rhett I think you guys are gonna do just fine I don't even know what they're doing I'm just I have probably got back in all right well Tom's finishing tighten that up I'm gonna take off the front sprocket here we go this is the moment of truth we're gonna put on our sprocket That is not enough. Look at that, it's still hitting. That's centered up, that is hitting. We need to get like another inch. Okay, we're gonna figure that out and we'll be back. All right, Tom, got you a Let's fresh transmission. It. Woo, she's burning. <laughs> this is the one that we're using on the Bombi. They rebuilt it over at St. George Transmission. It's looking good. Do you know why I say this will work? Because I'm going to will it into working. I mean, are you just barely touching? That's about centered and it's just touching. 
Yeah. So if you went an inch, how far do you think these will shift over? Uh, I'm not expecting them to shift much more than a half inch, but if we did an inch spacer, that's good. So we need an inch spacer with this bolt pattern. Yeah. All right, it is a new day. I am here at Matt's shop and Matt is gone. He is out for the week. I think he's in Florida with his family. Maybe he's filming for Shark Week. I don't really know what he does out there. Before Matt left, he gave me this list of things to do. I think it is more like some guidelines. He just didn't want me to get bored or, or lonely while he was gone. So I'm just gonna go look around the shop and see what I should work on. I'll just use my best judgment. All right, we're here at the Salt Lake Airport. We're ready to fly to Florida. They keep delaying our flight. I know you guys don't like airport updates, but I'm giving you one. And something exciting's happening. Johnny Boy, the Buckmaster, is coming to see us. Pretty nice two-point buck. There's another nice little buck. Another decent sized buck right over there. Is he here? In a couple minutes. Yeah, he he's a pilot. Getting, he's getting ready to go on a flight. Here's a little poem I wrote about Johnny Boy. Roses are red, violets are violet. I got a friend named Johnny Boy the pilot. <laughs> Told you he'd be right here. Right here. There's a chance that if you've flown Delta, he's been your pilot. Maybe. All your smoothest landings. Look what I found over here. This is that three to one transfer case we've been meaning to put in the more of air. I could do that. Check this out. This is a box from Arcdroid. I'm really excited about opening this up and seeing what's in there. I could actually do some work on the Bombi, but I think I'm gonna work on this vice. So the other day, Rhett came in here and he fixed the handle on that. And Matt was so excited because he loves this little table. I thought I would do a little more work on it. So this vise has been through years of abuse. It's all bent up. I got this nice new vise and I had Flog cut out a base for it. So I'm gonna take that off and weld in this base. And so when he comes back, he'll have this nice new vise on his little table. This one I want to be easy to remove. I built this plate and I'm gonna weld all the nuts to the bottom of the plate and then drill holes so they'll sit down in the table and then I'll weld the whole plate on and then you'll be able to remove it by just uh, using a ratchet from the top side. Hopefully this has enough left in it to drill. This is what we drilled those axle tubes out with like six months ago. And this took a beating, but it's gotta do four holes. I think it'll do four more holes. I'm sure Matt would just muscle through and drill these out by hand because he is a drilling beast but he's not here so this is how I'm doing it. All right, it's our first day here in Florida. The ladies are trying to decide what we're gonna be getting for foods like sustenance. We got Rowdy there. You guys might know him from Schultz's. He's my steel dealer. I'm sweating to death. Rowdy, I want your opinion on this right here. I wanted to leave enough room for Rowdy to park his rig. That's why I did that. It's okay, just sketchy. Let's go shopping. Let's go get Okay, sustenance. what are we doing? We're going to get groceries. All right. And boogie boards and stuff. So we can go to Florida the things. And stuff? And yeah. Stuff. We're gonna go get stuff. Any indent in the ground here has not only water in it, but it has critters in it. So this is, this is a pretty cool state. And that's one of the reasons. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't want critters everywhere I go. You might not know this about me, but I despise shopping. I don't like it. Well, that's not true. I like shopping for old rusty cars and trucks. I like shopping for off-road parts and engine parts and fabrication stuff but I despise like going into a store pushing a shopping cart around and trying to make a decision on dozens of items that I just don't care about and then me and Jamie play this little game where she says what do you think we should get and I say oh let's get this and she <laughs> says no let's get this and she knew the answer the whole time she was just seeing if I knew I the answer I still want your opinion ah it's not a fun game for me. It's actually not very fun to go grocery shopping with him either, so. But see this, I've got a good attitude. I'm being very supportive. We are gonna fill this shopping cart with products and we're gonna have a good time doing it. I don't know, do you think we need cups? Yeah, let's get some. We're gonna get some cups. What irresponsible thing are you gonna buy while Matt's gone this time? I have been dreaming for this opportunity and I've got a few ideas. Yeah. Keep watching. Okay, mag drill for the win today. That cut awesome, way better than the axles that we had to cut with that same bit. Here's my plate that's got to go in. Now that fits perfect. Barely even wiggles in there. Oh yeah. 
That's not going anywhere. So I'm just trying to figure out what we should move on to and do next. And I just remembered that my truck started to make some noise. I think it might be ball joints when I'm steering. So I'm gonna just push the Bombi out. We'll pull my truck in here and see what's going on. Look at that. Look at those majestic cows running. Look at that, that's a stampede. That's a regular stampede. So here's the deal. Jamie dressed me today and she put me in new shoes. I had to take them off, so I'm walking around in my sock feet. Jamie, of course, has her appropriate footwear on. Always. <laughs> Everywhere I go. Getting the Florida experience. Oh, so Look at him go. Oh, that is so cool. He's so cute. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. <laughs> Um, yeah, go all the way. Okay. One direction, then let's go all the way the other. Okay, pull up. Okay, come back. Um, oh yeah, this this could be making noise. There should be a boot in there. It's chewed up and gone. So we got this up on the left and started cranking the wheel. Didn't see anything obvious, but there is one joint that's missing a boot, so it's gonna rust out. We'll replace that. All right, I don't know that that was a problem, but it was gonna be a problem. So it's getting replaced. Now with the old and with the new. See that there to bulge? Mm -hmm. That means it's full of grease. Okay, I don't know if that'll fix anything, but it won't be a problem soon. Done. Next, what should we do next? I've been itching to open this thing for like three days, so we're gonna do that next. Oh, check it out. That looks cool. All right, let's move this down. Ooh. That's the brains. All right, step one, step two. That's all there is. I don't know what to do. I guess I plug it in and do the two steps. What do I do, Colby? I don't know. There's gotta be more than this. Is it in here? Uh-oh. You should plug them all in. There's only one plug-in. I don't know. Uh-oh. Zero trace load load. Right, we're here at dinner at Olive Garden. I wasn't gonna film anything, but this might be the best broccoli I have ever eaten. And I like broccoli, but this this is off the charts. Broccoli, I mean, it doesn't take much to get good because it's not good. It's really good. It's amazing. What do you got there, Jamie? Some spaghetti and sausage. All right. Sorry. <laughs> We'll let you go. All right, we're here at Flagler Beach. We're getting ready to do some of this. I'm not any good at it. Oh, look at my Def Leppard shirt. And yes, I'm wearing it ironically. Brandy cut the sleeves out so I look super awesome. With the kitchen knife, it's really a good job. Yeah, Jamie, how do you feel about my shirt? I love it. That's why I wear it. I am looking at the list here of things that I should be doing, and I remembered that the Tangerine has a bad crankshaft position sensor, so it won't even start. So I might pull that in and get working on that. It is a rare summer rainy day. So instead of moving the Bombi out, I pushed it forward so we can get the Jeep in behind it and it won't get rained on. You wanna ride? Boy, this engine's quiet. So my son Bridger arrived to help out with this job. Hey guys. So I want to get this Jeep running so Bridger has something to drive because his Jeep has a broken transmission right now. Yeah. What'd you do? It broke. <laughs> All right, we'll get this one running. <laughs> it is still raining out here, which makes me wonder how Matt's doing in Florida. Is he getting dumped on? 
Was that an awesome day at the beach? Yeah! All right, we can see our sensor down here. It's back here on the firewall, but it's a little hard to get to. And I don't see where the connector is. So I'm gonna lift it up and try and get it from the bottom side. Is it that one this, up there? This is our wire that we have to disconnect. So that's good, it'll be easy to get to. because it's. So try and push, there's a little tab, a little button. Push on, on the button and then try to pull it apart. Yeah, that. There. Hoping that's an, <laughs> enough extension. See if I can reach. Not there. <laughs> it went. Yeah, it's turning. Hold the flashlight still. Are you kidding me? That's my line. There nice. it is. Nice. Let's get the new one. No. <laughs> this is so classic. We did not plan this, but I think we're out of gas. There's none in, no, no pressure in the fuel rail. Here, let me go get you some gas. <laughs> we'll try this again in a few minutes. All right. Hi, boys. Hello. <laughs> what are you doing? I can't even check on you guys. Uh, we make need sure checking on. Make sure you're behaving. It's very wet outside. Just a warning. We ran out of gas. Oh, that's a shocker. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the mystery continues. This goes, this connector, this connects. If we can pull that connector, we can take off this whole thing and pull it apart. Yep, crank. Good morning. It is another day in sunny central Florida. We're going to be taking some swamp buggy rides, but first it needs maintenance and repairs. We got Colin here driving the rental Mustang. Good morning. <laughs> we got Rhett back here, and uh, oh hey, they really liked how you handled yourself on the sand shoot. Are they out of the way? Father versus son. So, good job. Thanks. We got Presley back here. Hi. Anyway, we're going to go have some fun today in the swamps, working on the swamp buggy. Check it out. Destination is on your left. <laughs> Destination is on well, your left. Well, Siri agrees with me right there. We got here late because we didn't want to do any of the work. Paul's about got this under control. So what he's doing is putting a serpentine belt system on this swamp buggy. They've had trouble with it throwing belts and overheating and not charging and not steering. All, all the problems, Paul's solving them. But we know who the real brains of the operation is. It's Rowdy right here. The bigger question is, is it serpentine or serpentine? Serpentine. Is serpentine, it, though? Is it you guys serpentine. or y'all? That's a good okay, question. You gotta say y'all. What do you guys say? Do you say serpentine? Like, isn't that the Guns N' Roses? Yeah. Yeah, do you say yep. serpentine like Axl Rose? My serpentine! <laughs> or serpentine like my darling, serpentine. <laughs> oh, my darling. Yes. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling serpentine. Right, so these guys have been hard at it. Not me, though. I got my job. I got my work done really fast. So, oh, look at that. You look angelic. I, I am angelic, Matt. Not you. That other one. <laughs> so, anyway, um, we're kind of at a stopping point. They need more parts, and it's lunchtime, so we're going to grab some food. We're going to be driving this thing broke down somewhere where we have to walk out of swamp. I like how you put that. We're going to be driving this thing broke down somewhere. Well, we're going to drive it, and then it's going to break down. My entire past experience with this buggy is what you just said. Yep. Mine, too. Okay. I'm hoping it's going to be a little better this time. <laughs> it better be. You got break. You got break. You got break.
What is that? Look, an alligator. Yes. This is the coolest thing. So they got these banana spiders here, and and uh, Brandy's moved to the back because she was in the front, and that's where you meet them first. How do you feel about the spiders, Jamie? That they're big and they're ugly. I think they're beautiful. It's fine. It's fine. No, it's a, it's a, it's a some of these roads that we're on are, have not been maintained in years. Exactly. So Paul's. Oh. <laughs> Paul's <not ready. laughs> we're getting there. We're getting there. We got her. Anyway, this is what we're going through. Oh my God. Jay, this is Jamie's defense. She puts her head under a towel. We've lost the old road, and now we are kind of <laughs> picking our way through here. I think you wanted to go that way. So I'm up here on the prow of the ship, trying to trying to spot icebergs. Paul's pretty much listening to me. Hard left. You're still in. You got eight more inches. Do you have it? It's gonna be a tight squeeze, but you'll get her. Who's that? Also, I'm in charge of karate chopping spider webs because none of these other pansies are willing to do it. We don't really know where we are currently. We're going to Outback. What kind of a tour guide is this? <laughs> right, we're late for dinner and we're lost and we're stuck. <laughs> really go, just go this way. This looks good. Woohoo! Uh -huh. Yeah. So this is what it's been like for a minute. We're trying to get back to a known trail. This is private property. They actually use this property for timber harvesting. They plant it and then harvest it. I don't know, man. That is, look at that thing. I think you're gonna have to hop this log. I think you're gonna come right through here. Well, I hope we got enough gas for this. I know a lot about running out of gas and this would be a bad place to do it. I don't have anybody to call to come bring us gas. That's quite the machine. Quite the, quite the swamp buggy. Well, we made it back to the hunting camp. There's people here to rescue us. We didn't die. Paul pulled we through. Live. Paul pulled we through live. for us. Woo! So the final score is, since I've been involved, is the swamp one, swamp buggy five. All right, it is a new day. I am working in the shop. Matt is still gone. I think he's in Florida having a great time. I haven't heard from him, so we'll assume he's doing good. And I'm here, supposed to be working on the Bombi, but I'm actually working on the Tangerine because that seemed like more fun. We worked on this thing all day yesterday and I didn't get it running, but we did fix three or four problems. We're down to one code and I did a little research and I think it is the camshaft position sensor which was recently replaced, but we're gonna replace it again, or at least take a look and see what's going on. Oh man, I think we've got our problem here. What'd you find? Holy cow, this thing is all tore to pieces. There's chunks all over the place in there. Look in here. Oh, I don't know if you no. can see that, but there's a bunch of little chunks. I'm gonna pull them out. So there's two magnets in here. 
So I, I think Rhett replaced this recently, but there was probably a magnet that broke off from the first one and he put it in here and they all stirred together and now we've got two magnets in here. Okay, I'm gonna clean this all out and we'll see if it can be replaced. If I can just use the sensor or if I need to replace this whole thing. That's not good. Dude, that thing is all bent up. Oh. I need a new one, I think. <laughs> That's a big chunk. Here's, here's my pile of little pieces. There's only one magnet inside each sensor and there's two magnets that I pulled out. We've got several sensors worth of broken parts <laughs> inside of this. There it is. We're gonna replace the whole thing cause that is all bent up. It's really wobbly too. We'll get a new one. This thing should run. All right, we are walking down St. George Street in St. Augustine. We've been here before and we liked it so much we came back to look at it again. Our plan is to go to a store that Colin really wants to go to, and then we're gonna eat. When we get done with this, we're gonna be meeting back up with Fab Rats, and we're gonna be eating some seafood. Again. All right, they didn't have my sensor in stock, so I ordered one, but I wanna get this thing running right now. So I think I know where we can grab one out of another vehicle. So we'll go try that. And everything looks good on the inside, nothing weird going on. And there's two ways it can go in, either this way or this way. If I get it wrong, it won't start, and I'll just flip it around and try the other way. If I get it right, which I think is this way, because that's how the old one came out, should fire right up. What I think happened is the magnet fell off the first sensor, and when they put in the second sensor, they didn't realize that. So that magnet floating around in there just tore everything to pieces. It's never ran so good. All right, today is a day in Daytona Beach, right? Is that what we're doing? Yep. I'm not super excited about this, but I'm gonna pretend to be because my family loves this kind of garbage. We're going right. go-kart racing. How can oh, you not I, love I that? Oh, I like that part. Never mind. I do <laughs> love this kind of garbage. I thought we were going to the gift shops. We are. Yeah, we're going to the gift shops. And I hate the gift shops. Yes. I love the gift shops. It's, it'll They're be so fine. Sad. You'll survive. I really like coming to Florida and doing Florida things. This is the least favorite thing of all the Florida things, and this is what my family just loves. We only do it like once. I don't know. Last year we stopped at like seven of these it's places. True, but... All right, ladies, how was the shopping? So good, but we need to go to one more place because uh, your kids were not satisfied. Okay, we're still shopping. All right, now that we got all the shopping out of the way, we headed over to K1 Speed. We're gonna race some go-karts. Racing again, like always, pretty much. Pretty much everything me and Matt do turns into a race. Some sort of competition. Although we had to join forces yesterday to get us out of the swamp. We did. Yeah. yeah. We, we, we make alliances when we have to. Yep. Can you believe that? They said I drive like an old oh, lady. You put them in the I wall. thought I was Jamie. driving so it, good. It's the fact that your left blinker is just always Jamie, on the whole way. Jamie in this, you put them in the wall. All right, and get them. Yeah, out. get them. Get them loose and put them in the wall. <laughs> we are here getting ready to race. I have a better car than last year. That was awesome. You gotta be in shape for this. It ain't just sitting in a go-kart and steering. This is, oh my goodness. This is muscle man stuff. I ran so bad. It was like derby days all over again. Who did you I was, I was, wall. I was <laughs> almost trying to overtake Matt. I wasn't paying attention on the up stop where it cut short and I hit it so hard it almost flipped over the rail. Oh man. The best position isn't to be in front alone. The best position is to be behind the fast guy. <laughs> Good morning, it is a new day. I'm out here working in the shop again by myself because Matt's still gone, but he gets back this evening. So I think it's time that I finally start working on the Bombi because I've been procrastinating that all week. So let's go check out what we got on the whiteboard. So I'm feeling a little bad that I haven't done any of the things that Matt wanted me to do on the list. So I'm gonna do the doghouse, which is kind of a hard one. We'll try and get that banged out before he comes back. Matt was calling this back part of the cab, the dog house. He went into, we talked about like building a whole new one and then we pulled this one out. We're like, this one could be made to work. I don't see it. It doesn't look like a dog house to me. I don't know that a dog would fit in there anywhere, but I'm gonna pull that out. We'll grind out all the sides, get it cleaned up and figure out a way to weld this piece in permanently. <laughs> He 
these little brackets aren't in the right spot for where we're going to put this thing in here. So I'm just going to chop off the back piece of them because they're welded in there pretty good. It is day number six. It has been amazing. Every day is just amazing. It's been a much needed vacation. We've got just enough time to do what? Go to the beach. So we're going back to the beach. I've got my Def Leppard shirt on, which I am still wearing ironically. He does not like Def Leppard. We're gonna have Jake run over to Flog. We uh, drew up some parts a while back. They cut them all out. And they're ready to be picked up. Awesome, let's go get some parts from Flog. Oh, we're rolling over to Flog. I'm in Colby's new car. It's top secret. It's pretty cool. It's got one of those engines in the back. We are over at Flog getting some Bombi parts. What's going on, my man? How are you? Good, how are you? You got some Bombi parts for us? I do. Woo, look at those. It's fresh. I've got everything all cleaned up out here. I think this doghouse is ready to go back in. I'm going to hammer it in here and we'll weld it in. this doghouse piece is all welded in it was just loosely bolted in before but it should be super strong now and I know I've seen some comments about people are worried we chopped out this back piece and it's weaker that's gonna add a ton of strength in there and we've got some ideas for how to make this a radiator mount super strong and it'll add a bunch of support out here to these so you don't need to worry about that anymore Tom, he said these were cut with lasers, so they're super precise. Lasers? Lasers. Wow. Yeah, what do you think? What do you think of the doghouse? What do you think, girl? Oh, she loves it. I think that is a sign of approval. Yeah, it's a good doghouse, huh? Good doghouse. Doghouse. Done. Uh, I'm thinking gas tank vents. I might have time to do that. It was this, fell on me. Ah. All right, I went all the way around and I go a little bit past because your start and your stop will create like a little leak point. So I try to weld right over it. I think that'll be good. Okay, that job's not done, but it started. So I'm gonna give it half a line. Yeah, it's time to say goodbye to all this and head back to the sunny, dry desert Southwest where cars last for centuries without resting. We got a lot done this week. In the morning, Matt should be here and it's gonna come like that. Good morning, I am back from Florida, which means I'm back in the shop, which means we're back on the Bombi. The Bombi. Did I say it right? Yeah, you got it. I'm a little jet laggy, but I think I'm gonna just... Push through? Yes, I'm gonna dig down deep. I'm gonna find my bootstraps and I'm gonna pull myself up with them. So we got these for the inners and these for the outer. So it looks like everything we needed from Flog we got. How does the list look? Oh, we did good while you were gone. I added a bunch of stuff to it and then I got all of those things done. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, some things got done and that's the most important part. A ton of things. The next most important part is getting this done. I'm very proud of you, by the way. You made a list. You know what I do? What do you do? I do things and then I write them on the list and then I cross them off. We are very similar that way. So it looks like all this stuff came back from Flog. It looks amazing. I don't remember how it goes. It's like we've created a puzzle for ourselves, huh? Yes. All right. Yeah, past us created a puzzle for future us. Okay. And then this goes right here. What do you think? It kind of fits. It's going to. Rest, it's gonna fit. So now all we gotta do is make the other two fit it. So this is the one 
This is one of them right here that needs to fit it. And then, then we trim that one to fit later, right? Okay, right, that's gonna be a perfect fit. I like it. Okay. And on top of all this boxing that's going in here, there's going to be a, a support rod. As soon as we figure out exactly where this goes, there's going to be a support rod that comes off of this axle and goes straight back to the other axles. And that will make this significantly stronger than it was. But that's just a guess. Okay, so this should answer the question of how we're going to do this. This is a good start on how we're going to do this, but find out the rest of the way we're going to do this you'll have to tune in in another video because we are at the end of the video oh yeah we're at the end of the video someone do the thing thanks for watching